Hey guys, what is up? Sam or Scorpio here, bringing you guys another Blackout video talking about the fact that David Vonderhaar, the studio design director at Treyarch, who's basically the man behind Blackout and multiplayer running the show, has been tweeting a lot last night, teasing some massive details about things that are in development for new features for Blackout, changes to the map, and a whole lot more I'm going to go over with you guys today all of the major things he's been teasing. There's a whole bunch of them. A lot of them address some of, I think, the biggest concerns with the game. So we're just gonna get right into it with the most important one, being that they are completely redesigning from the ground up, it sounds like, the armor system in the game. This is meant to include, apparently, a way you can actually repair your armor, which I think is a really cool idea, where basically you'll actually be able to get armor pieces to kind of repair it and put it back together. Because as we know right now, many of my friends have even quit playing Blackout and just lost interest in it altogether, simply because of the armor system, because the fact of it is, it does hugely encourage camping to just get some good armor and camp, because one encounter in your armor's broken and you need that armor for late game. So I think this is going to be a great thing to see. They talk a lot about how they are very aware of the fact that the game does encourage camping a lot and to just get something and then camp and that this new system will renovate that and kind of fix that up, which I think is something very much near. I think a cool thing they could do is actually the destroyed armor plating you get pretty much. It's the Ajax character item. You get three of them to get the Ajax character, and these are actually acquired by breaking some of these armor and then picking them up. It would be really cool if these could also be used if you just kind of equip it to your armor. It will repair its durability, I think. I think that would be a really nice addition to add to it. I just think this is great to see them generally acknowledging all the flaws in the game and people's concerns. Now the next up is a big one, being the camos, something, this is something I've heard a lot of people asking about, camos are in development to be usable in Blackout. This is something I really want to see, a bit like kind of zombies armory system where you can equip cosmetics and stuff, presumably we'll probably be able to use signature weapons as well, and they say they're working on this system right now. Hopefully they actually have new camos as well we can unlock in Blackout, similar to the way we can in multiplayer and zombies, that would be really really awesome to see honestly. An armory system I think is a cool idea, obviously it's not going to include attachment type things, but if I can equip a variant and a camo I think that will be a lot of fun, and it will generally add to the aesthetic of the game quite a lot. Next up a smaller one here for most people, but they are working on the audio, generally the kind of, the way you can read surround sound, you know, direction, distance, all of that is going to be a lot more distinguishable in a future update, which is great to see in my opinion. Also, we have a change coming, supposedly, according to him, to the Blackout map. He says, I'm not allowed to say, but it is happening. I've played it. Now, this was in response to someone saying, when are we going to see a change to the map? And they also go on to say that they've gone on record saying that they aren't so much adding, you know, interest in adding more maps to Blackout, but they are more focused on morphing this map, and that is very much at the time now, and that could change in the future. What I think is going to happen with this, actually, is I think we're going to have a year two set of content for Black Ops 4, where we're going to have more zombies, more multiplayer, and more updates to Blackout, and I think that year two content will bring with it a second Blackout map that will be kind of rotated around. I think that's a really cool idea, honestly, because it's something PUBG's done that I think is very cool. Generally, it adds to the replayability, you know, if you go in one game and you're playing this map, and you go in another game and you're playing a totally different map. Prestigious Key does point out as well, there is a lot of open water on the left side of the Blackout map, and there is also a lot of open desert on the right side of the map, so there's plenty of space for new areas to be added. I, for one, my personal opinion, all that open water, I would put in Alcatraz Island, Mob of the Dead, I think that'd be such a cool thing to see if they put Mob on it. That would be, yeah, they could call it Prison or something like that, just something simple like that. And I think that'd be a great way to incorporate one of the biggest fan favorite maps in Zombies history. We also have an echelon cap coming. Pretty much they're going to increase the max level, which is really cool. I mean, they say it is further down the road than most things, but it is coming because of asset requirements, which presumably means they're going to be adding, obviously, the new symbols, and they're also going to have new characters coming in for the new, well, you know, that you unlock as you level up, which I think is cool. Obviously, it's not a hugely urgent thing since very few people are max level so far. But it will be nice to see that because right now I'm 45, so I'm intended to go to max level. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what they add in. I think all these changes are generally going to keep people coming back to Blackout 
just regularly updating the game is exactly what they need, honestly. And it's something I think Zombies needs to look at more because Zombies, they haven't been doing a huge amount. They do also talk a bit about weapon balancing, about how that's not something so much that like MP they'll just change things a bit because obviously rarities, you are meant to struggle to get rare guns and they are meant to be more powerful, although he is going to look into the SDM. Just thought I'd point that out because the SDM is one of the most possibly OP weapons in the whole game. Overall guys, I'm just really excited with what he has coming here. Also says more characters are coming down the line, going to be cool as well. Hopefully we get them by character missions and they're not just going to chuck them in the store. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to this come down the line. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video to keep you guys updated. If you have, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you on more Blackout videos. Bye!